All right, YouTube, I am back. Quick update, um, I am in the garage here. The short block F20B motor is together. Forged pistons and everything are installed. have the OBX LSD installed as well, uh, as well as the FX350 Clutch Masters 8 puck full face clutch. Um, I'm hoping, as you can see, to slide this motor up into the car today. Um, I like to, after using the engine hoist to pull this the old motor out, I decided that I'm going to go back to my old ways and put the motor up through the bottom because it's way easier. Um, real quick update, I have updated um, fuel lines, I ran a dash 6 AN line for my feed to my fuel rail and I'm running um, the pre-existing uh, return back to the, uh, back to, back to the gas tank. Walbro 450 LPH fuel pump for 60 bucks and uh, this is all installed into the stock um, fuel pump carriage and I'm going to be running uh, 6 AWG wire so I can get the 14 volts straight from the battery um, to the pump and get that 400 LPH from the pump. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I have Brian Crower uh, 88 block in the camera. I had, uh, I picked up some Brian Crower 88 pound valve springs. I picked up a Honda S300 V3 uh, with boost by gear, but I have to actually solder it in. So maybe I'll make a video of that. Um, I also picked up a bottom mount turbo manifold. It's really, really well made. Um, it's already set up for a V-band, um, so I have to figure out even if I have clearance to run a turbo with the stock traction bar on this car. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got 1300 uh, CC injectors by ID. And I got a boost control solenoid from Mac, M-A-C. Um, that's the 46 amp, and that's a four port boost solenoid. I uh, got a Cometic 0.027 um, uh, head gasket. And just so that you guys can see here, there you go, just in case you wanna order one too. That puts my compression at 10 to one. Um, Whereas the OEM one put me at like 9.97 something to one. So um, the stock OEM uh, head gasket is like 0.030 uh, thick. So I have that together. Hmm. Oh, I picked up an intercooler and a cluster with a bunch of gauges, air fuel ratio gauge, uh, boost pressure gauge, oil pressure gauge. Um, and apparently this came off of a fifth gen Prelude, this intercooler, so it should fit outside of my um, radiator mount. And I also have a Black Works, whoops, I also have a Black Works uh, Racing Civic um, radiator. So that will go on there as well. But here shortly, I'm gonna get on to this motor install because um, I can't wait for this thing to start up. But, um, yeah, we're gonna get to it. I'm still alive, it's still going together. It's just slow, I'm getting married here in July, I got a lot of other projects. Obviously, I built a garage in order to do this. Um, but yeah, just be patient, and the Prelude will be hitting the roads here shortly. Um, but I'm gonna get to it, and I'm gonna put this stuff together. So, I might set up a time lapse, but I don't know, this video is almost at five minutes. You guys probably don't wanna watch time lapse. This is just gonna be an update video. So that's what it is, but 
Later. I'll see you guys next time.